Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. We are doing monthly favorites. My first monthly favorites video. Where do I even start? There are so many good things that I've found this month. Let's start with makeup. The makeup is makeuping. Summer is coming and I want like a really fresh glow all the time. So number one beauty favorite is this Kosas Dream Beam Foundation. This is, no, this is not even a foundation. It's a sunscreen. It's the Dream Beam Comfy Smooth Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. Ooh. It is a mineral SPF. It has peptides, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, allotoin. So those are all really hydrating ingredients. When I put something on my skin, I don't want it to look patchy. I don't want it to define my texture at all. This does a really good job of making my skin look fresh, look glowy. I'm going to show you guys the texture. Focus up in here. What's interesting is that this is not like a tinted um, moisturizer or foundation, but I do find that it gives a little bit of a tint. It blurs out my imperfections. It just gives the most beautiful glow to my skin. My skin looks instantly hydrated. I could literally wear this on its own for like a no makeup makeup look. Number two on the beauty list, again, Kosas. Kosas just makes really beautiful, dreamy products and they work for my skin. They dry down comfortably and they look very hydrated. So I have two concealer colors here. This one is 3.5. This is the one that I actually use on my face. I have ditched foundation for every day. I don't do foundation every day anymore. I use these concealers. So we've got the 3.5. This formula is very comfy, very hydrating. 2.3N for my under eyes. This one's like a lot lighter than this one as you can see. So I use this one on my face and this one for my under eyes. And that's just how I like to do my makeup. I like using a lighter color for my under eyes than on my face. They don't look cakey at all. It, this is truly my favorite concealer right now. They're a clean vegan brand. So that is definitely something that I want to put on my face for everyday use. These are new colors. I believe they just dropped them. Their line before, I still love their line. I did find that they their concealers were too yellow and now they have dropped colors that fit more for my skin. I have olive toned skin and I am a bit more warm. So that's something to keep in mind. These new Kosas drops, skincare. This one, I love this one. This is probably one of my absolute favorite moisturizers that I have ever used. And I don't say that lightly. The Pharmacy Honey Halo. This moisturizer is incredibly hydrating. It's amazing for dry skin. It has ceramides and it has honey. Something about honey is that it'll plump your skin up right away. That's something that I... <laughs> learned because I have eczema and I get eczema mostly during the winter and when I put honey on my hands or I put it on my face immediately my skin just feels so relieved it's empty so unfortunately I cannot show you how it looks I really need to get a refill of this it looks great under makeup it's amazing for your nighttime moisturizer it is great for a daytime moisturizer really great all-around product I have noticed using this moisturizer that my moisture barrier is intact and fully thriving next on the skincare list we have of course eye patches I'm always wearing an eye patch and lately I am obsessed with these ones from patchology the design is so cute they have like a really cute sheen to them the other one is white and a little bit sparkly this one is gold love this material jelly like material and it goes really smoothly on the skin i'll put it on top of my makeup just to show you what they look like but i mean it's self-explanatory it's literally an eye patch every time i use these i take them off and my under eyes look so much smoother something about this just makes my under eyes look very smooth and it's probably the material along with the ingredients. Every color, I believe, has like a different purpose. This one's more hydrating. It's made with more hydrating ingredients. It's great for puffiness. If you're tired, you just like throw these on in the morning. Hyperpigmentation for dark circles. It brings life back into your under eyes. The thing about eye patches, some people are like, oh, well, like these things like never work. Like... My under eyes aren't actually super bright. I'm sorry to tell you, not going to be a fix at all. But if you have somewhere to go, if you're doing something and you want to look 
more awake. Throw an eye patch on, wait 10-15 minutes. Makeup lays really well underneath an under eye that's been hydrated with an eye patch. That's why I always do a mask or an eye patch before any event. The travel girlies, the hot girl walk girlies, the hot mom walk girlies, the my baby screaming and I need to just tune him out girlies, okay? Yep, my Apple headphones. These are the Air Maxes, and I have a wildflower case on them, which I'll also link below, that I love, and it matches my phone case. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably my favorite headphones that I've ever had, and I've had the Beats, I've had the, the regular AirPods. I can take this off. I obviously like to wear them with my matching case because... It's cute. You press this button and it becomes noise canceling. This is how you control your sound. So you can go up, you can go down. You can press it for a mute, a mute, for a mute. I feel the battery life is pretty good too. I think it's 20 hours or something like that. My favorite part about it too is this top. I feel it's really comfortable and these come off so you can easily clean them that's something that i hated about my beads i could not clean this part and it just became like really gross and obviously i wear makeup so a lot of makeup can get on the edges of my headphones and this is really easy to just take off clean and put back on it's so convenient and then you just pop them into the case it goes on sleep mode is the last home item not something that i found this month but i have been using it extra this month this is an instant holder it's made of travertine travertine is one of my favorite stone material for home items i think it looks clean it looks sleek the top it has holes and then you open it up and it has all my sage in it so you can light up the sage it smells so good i just love sage i love sage i love palo santo so you can put it in here and then light it up you close it the smoke comes out of it and it looks so nice this is also like a really great gift for a friend who has like a new home now we are going to kitchen and this might be a really random item but it is a favorite right now so i make this arabic herbal dish called karawiya almost every single morning now it's become like a staple breakfast for me and I use this whisk all the time. And it is the best whisk ever. And you're thinking like, why do I need a whisk? This is worth the investment. Okay, this whisk is amazing. It's very comfortable to use. I can literally just whisk all day. Like, you know how sometimes like your hand hurts when you're whisking? My hand doesn't hurt when I whisk with this. I don't know what it is, but it's literally the best whisk. The comfort of the sleeve. I've had many whisks where silicone material right here starts peeling off after like a month of use. I've had this for a while now and it has not come off. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's the dream cooker. This thing is so good. I use this every single day. This was actually my Valentine's Day gift. I use it every single day. It makes chicken in 15 minutes. It makes rice in six minutes. It's faster than a crock pot, than an insta pot. It's a lot easier to navigate. It doesn't have like unnecessary buttons or features that like we never ever use. You know what I'm talking about, okay? You don't need 25 features. This does all of that in just like five, six buttons. It has saved me so much time. I am not a great cook. I don't love to cook. I just hate like standing in the kitchen for a long time. And this has cut my cooking time significantly. Clothing favorites. These abayas from Batu the collection are my favorite abayas right now. I have been wearing them all month long. This color is so pretty i also have it in green and i also have it in beige this is what the green color looks like i really really like the sleeves how comfortable and wide they are the designs are just really comfortable and chic you can really dress them up or dress them down and that's something that i've 
been really enjoying doing this time all dawn. I can wear it with heels, I can wear it with sneakers. They have pockets. Last but not least, and this is for my mama's Love Every toy. And I'm sure there are dupes out there. However, I use Love Every and I love it. I think Love Every is the best thing that has ever happened to my house because I don't have a bunch of random toys that I don't need. Every two to three months you get a box full of toys that help with your child's development based on what age they are. My baby is currently loving this. This is like a fake tissue box. It helps with this problem solving. They use organic materials. That's really important to me. There are a lot of toys that come with like little parts that aren't necessarily very safe. I know that whatever is included in the Love Every box is safe for my baby um, for his specific age range. My favorite app right now is Pinterest. And this is what my Pinterest board looks like. Pinterest is so fun. Home, fashion, mood boards, um, health, wellness. So follow me on Pinterest. It's my favorite app right now. I'm literally always on it. And my baby is crying. So I think I'm going to end it there. <laughs> if you have any monthly favorites, let me know. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.